Okay, here we are at the freshest, folks, and basically what I'm going to take you to real fast is I should be able to go ahead and hit that, and there you go, and there is the meatball, okay? And you'll see that I got it on. You should be able to see the full screen snip there thing because I snipped this because basically when I go ahead and try to play that shot there, I'll go to set you here over here and now we got Neptune here so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to go ahead and go ahead and pick us up into what I'm going to do again is open up a window okay so we got so what we're at is Sechi blown up and basically the freshest shots basically movies okay but basically, if I go ahead and play this movie here, which basically shows you the meatball, and I'm playing this movie here, which basically shows you the meatball in the blue right there. This is the fresh. And I'll drag this down and over and show you the date and the time. There's our fresh shot. The ninth is the fast right now with this date and time, Central Standard Time down here is the, is the freshest you can get. Okay. And then what I've got going on is Supervisor Control and data acquisition the overlords have been on me pretty good so actual factual they seen that I got was basically what they watch me what I'm trying to play so the idea that they can kind of do a little bit of something ahead of time basically there you go okay so it's there but when you go ahead and try to play that movie I'll knock it down to the hundred and here we go and we'll go ahead and we'll go down and we'll put in the the 10 09 because that's the closest date we're going to be able to play. And I'll mark it. Matter of fact, before I'll do that, I'll go ahead and we'll jump into another one. I'll just go to Core 2 and it'll show that movie there. It'll show this movie. This one should come up. We'll snap that one. And here we go. And we're on the fly. So what I'm going to do is I don't really care too much about this right now. I'll let it play for a second here. And there's this CME action. It's pretty awesome. It's a good stuff. Okay. Thank you, Navy. Okay, and thank you, Navy, for letting us see this because the idea that, and FYI, I understand the military connection and so forth and so on, so the idea that I'm pretty sure only a few people are going to be able to play that movie that's showing the meatball that I basically caught up in the corner when I blew up and was able to see it. And that actual, that, that's playing again now, so we'll go back and see that, and watch this, that the ninth, and I can even go back a, a few days, I'll change it in a little bit and go back a few days, and it won't give us any action of what that going on. See, we get this. And you see the date and time, you know, you just back up the video and I'll show it again because I'll, like heck, I can just throw, show the snip again real fast. There you go. There's your date and time. Okay. So basically, they're not letting us play that movie, which clearly, I'll bring the snip up. It's there. And you see, I accidentally, I didn't even try to hit the pin. That's when I knew I had uh, Big Brother on top of me because the idea that I didn't try to sure I can make a human mistake and click up that pen and get that going on that but I've never even tried to play with the pen I know how to do it now because somebody else is going to start writing something and it's probably smart ass think they could scare me or something like that on the screen after you take a snapshot but basically what we got here is exactly what you're seeing and I'll pop in our 800 Okay, and then in the future, see, I was surprised because we were able to get the video again. So basically, somebody somewhere, and what we're going to do is I'm going to go over to outer space here real fast. There you go, and there's the meatball. Now, projection, see, this is the sun and the supergiants back here. Look at this huge wave coming off the sun and the supergiants, okay? And let me go to solar artists really fast because I think I got artists up, and let's go down, and they're a little bit off and knowing what's going on too because check it out. The speed hasn't slowed down, okay? And I could also go into the actual, uh, I can go to Harp and get in there and, and see that right now the CME map's off too. And that's a little concerning also because the idea that they got the map uh, blimped down, it's kind of scary a little bit. I mean, I'm not trying to put interfere in anybody, but when we see this big ass wave out here like this, that's pretty awesome because basically this is the sun over here, not behind the solar panel over here, okay? And this is the meatball right there. You can't miss it. And then really quick, I will pop over to, I think I'm pretty sure I still got Sechi going here, the movie, and we'll fly up, and that's Venus there on that shot, and Uranus. So basically, actual factual, that's Venus and Uranus when we're sitting there looking at it. So, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to minimize down here to 200. There's where we're shooting. There's your date and time down there, and you know that's a meatball. 
and you've seen it on ba basically what we've captured from getting the shot from here. And they don't like that too much because I didn't plop that out. I wanted to stay here because there's the meatball and there is Venus. And if I don't get it wrong, Uranus. Okay. So that's what we got there. And there's the meatball. And then we're going to go to space. Now we're sitting here on the 11th. Basically Jupiter's the biggest goddamn thing right there. Uranus is next right there. Okay. We're Earth sitting here. And basically what you are getting a shot of is you're getting a shot of Uranus from the sun side because the sun's over to the right and there's earth and we will zoom in on uranus okay because basically you've got venus in uranus and there's venus so basically you can see the angle of the shot that they're shooting at and we're not getting uh we're not getting earth right now okay let me go back refresh your memory we should be able to just pull up Sechi. I should be able to just, where is Sechi, 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 Sechi. I got so much stuff going on, so hang on. So we'll go back to space and try to match this shot with the sun behind the solar panel like that. Hang on. So when you're getting the shot of Neptune on the red, that's what the kind of angle is. Basically, the satellite is way over here on the back side of the sun, and all it's getting is showing you Neptune and nothing out here, because basically there really isn't anything in that shot. You see that? Now, if I flip it around... When we are like this, you're getting a shot from, I believe if this is, if I get right, no, that's Neptune there. So flip it around a little bit more. And what they're getting you is a shot like this that is showing you Uranus. Now I level this out and basically that's what you're getting is a shot from behind the sun here. And giving you Uranus that, and this might be a head because see, well, we actually, yeah, we get Earth in this shot. So there's you getting Earth, Venus, and Uranus. And let's go ahead and go back to it real fast. So there's the meatball to the left of Venus, okay? And the sun's to the left, okay? So we got to check that out because no matter what, that's there right there. Let me see how much I got it zoomed in at. And I got it at 800, so that's as big as we're going to get it. And you can kind of see that there's some moons or something around it, okay? Now, the one thing for sure, too, check this out. So this is this shot here, and this this shows pretty good. So basically, we can see the triangulation there, Neptune and two stars to the left. So basically, I'll take and go out to uh, back to the deal. I'm not doing a very good job on the angles because I'm having a hard time trying to zoom it around to where the, where the satellite would be catching these shots. But uh, we might actually even be able to try to pick out what these two so it's getting a shot on a head of Venus and Earth and Uranus in the deep backness, okay? So basically, you can kind of see that Uranus might be here and it's actually got a brother or a sister because you can see a little bit of roundness here of probably the loop that goes around it. And the freaky thing is, is there might actually be, but we're, we're stretching a little bit there, but you cannot miss the meatball right there and you know it's there. And let's check this out. It's kind of hard to imagine, but check this shot out. This is the actual factual, and then I'll give you actual factual where it's at, too. And what you know for sure that it's not Neptune, okay? You've seen how small Neptune is in the shot. There's the sun. There's Earth. There's Venus. There's Uranus. The satellite's actually, like, over here and giving you the shot where it ends up making the Earth look way over here to the right because, basically, I can't turn the solar system around like that too much. I can get a little bit like this. But they're getting a shot where the idea, the actual factual, they get something like dragged up like this. Basically, that's where the satellite's shooting is something like this. And that's giving us that A-head shot. And basically, Earth looks back, way back here like this. And you can't even see Jupiter in the shot. And Uranus is there. And this is actual factual that it's not Jupiter. Okay? That's absolutely not Jupiter you're seeing there because it's just like they're showing you here. Uranus, Earth. But see, Earth is back at an angle in Venus. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to the Sechi. And there you go, and that's how it is. And that is the meatball. It's not Jupiter, okay? Because Jupiter's not between Venus, Uranus, and Earth and the Sun, and the Sun is behind this blinder here. Okay, so check it out. We'll go we'll go to it right now. I'll go back over. And as you, you see, I get a little help from Supervisor Control and Data Acquisition. They take my positioning away. But you can see that I had it positioned up correctly. So that the idea that you're getting the shot from behind the sun, basically back over here, and then you get Venus, and the Earth will look farther. Actually, I guess it's actually exactly where I had it. 
coming back out here, the earth is over there, but the idea that I can't turn, I don't think that enough to get, well, maybe I can get an angle of like that. Basically, they're blocking the sun out, but see the satellite is here. I have to zoom in. Let's see if I can zoom in from here. I'll have to try to get as if we're the satellite to get closer here. And they're getting that shot here where the idea that see earth is farther back there. And then over here to the left is Venus somewhere. Is that Venus right there? Yeah, that's Venus right there. So basically something like that and earth there. And then if I can get around to you, is this, and that's Mars there. So we twist it a little bit, and this is the kind of shot that they're getting us basically is like this, okay? And as you see, you can start to see the rings on Uranus there, and so I'm going to zoom in on that. So that's where you got that shot right there, and that's not the sun. Basically, you're seeing the meatball because they got the sun blocked out in the solar panel, and it's not, you're not seeing Jupiter, folks. It's not Jupiter, okay? Jupiter's too far out of the picture, okay? Because you're getting this shot here that basically separates this and this and Venus. And then I'll pop back for it. Actually, you can just back up the video. Because what I'm going to do really quick is I'm going to pop in and get, I'm going to zoom in here on Uranus. And I guess basically I can't right here. But let me get another shot around here. And we're going to do that. And I believe we can zoom in on Uranus. And there's Uranus. Okay. They're actually showing two rings around Uranus. Okay. Either that or it has an electrical protection layers like we see those circulars that are on the sun. But it does show that it's got some kind of, just like Saturn, some sort of rings around it, Uranus. Okay. And that's as much as I can zoom in on that. Okay, so well, I had it positioned enough for uh, to show you on that. And, uh, I don't know if we got a quake or not. I'll go in here and see. We've got plenty of them been going on lately this afternoon. There's been a bunch of stuff down way low. 5.1 down there. And the latest has been, I guess we got something new that I probably haven't looked at yet. Because we got over. In, there you go. North India, okay? So basically, and that was at 5.1 in Sandwich Islands down south there. This is the latest and greatest. And I'll just scroll down for the day. Chile had its ass shaken off. And that's pretty much, there'll be more for the, today, but basically just for data and basically just getting back to showing you the actual factual that we got the meatball out there. So Ahead's got the angle that you got Neptune there, and we'll see if we can get any kind of triangulation by looking at the map. Let's watch a huge CME cell here real fast. And it plays pretty fast, so then I'll go ahead and I'll get B in too real fast. H1B. And as you can see right there, it's still there, but they don't let us play the movie. What's funky, folks, if... It's weird about these shots because the idea that that's the sun underneath there and everything like that. And then this is actual same shot is from, and the sun's either that or what the hell is doing the CME action over this way. But that's the same actual thing that you're seeing right here is that right there. Earth and Venus and Uranus. Okay. This is inside the capsule of the what takes them up and back from the space station, okay? Here's the Chinese with their own space program. The space race is on, ladies and gentlemen, and the females are right there. The Chinese lady astronaut up there with the two males. Here's some shots of the of the space station guys. That's the capsule that they're inside when they're coming back to Earth that I showed you a minute ago. I think that there's the seats. There's the seats. You can see them. Okay. And I gave you that shot a minute ago inside. And folks, it's the Festival of Lights over right now in, in Germany. And this is what we have to be careful of anybody trying to pull anything because basically they can propagate a face into light and project it into the air. Okay. See what I'm saying? So basically, actual factual, 
you got to be careful about what anybody tries to pull on somebody religiously wise and so forth and so on with the sky. It's very easy to do. Uh,